welcome back so this is another hair tutorial slash tips it's not gonna be a full tutorial because that's too long um this is a wavy beachy hair look i know we're not in summer we are about to hit winter here in california but this is what my hair looks like currently. Normally my hair is straight. This is from Wet Hair. Two braids, uh, two tight braids, okay? That overnight um, has worked its magic and then you release it, okay? So then you get something kind of like this. I mean, they look super natural because this is no heat to it. You can add some hair gel, hair pomade, hairspray. When you wake up, run your fingers through this to keep that natural PC look and keep it like that. Or you can take it a step further and add a curling iron to it. With these type of natural ones, I would keep it as with a smaller barrel. You don't really need a large barrel for this. I'm just gonna be using this Remington wand, hair wand. This is from 2011 or 2012. It's old. It's maxed, well, let me see. Ow, ah, don't burn yourself. I'm keeping it at its highest setting, okay? I'm fine. <laughs> and I think this came with a glove that I clearly don't use. Maybe I should find one though. Prepped my hair already with uh, Kevin Murphy Untangled Leave-In Conditioner. This um, also serves as a heat protectant for your hair. What I do, whatever heat protectant you do, you use, uh, concentrate to the middle of your hair and then the ends. Ends because they dry out real fast and we all know about split ends. Mid because the mid can get pretty weak. Okay, so we're going to keep this random. This is going to be unorganized. Just like how natural hair would be. There's no like rhyme or reason necessarily to how a curl will look. And I would go in sections and with whatever natural direction the um, hair is going anyways. So it seems I'll follow the hair. So this hair piece looked like it was coming towards my face. So I'm just gonna be very simply doing that, leaving it alone, letting the hair kind of cool off on its own. And really the ones that have a strong wave to them, see that? I'm gonna kind of leave it alone. And then I'm going to just do the other section. I'm gonna basically do the sections that are not already done. Like for example, this part by the hair root is not done. I'm using the viewfinder if you can't tell to be my little mirror. And this gets super hot. I think, I don't even know how, what temperature this is at now, but I don't leave the hair on the heat for very long because I don't want to burn my hair to the best of my ability. Let me see. Okay, yeah, this hair is practically flat here. And I kind of, with a wand, I kind of just leave the last inch of hair coming out straight so that it kind of looks like that. And that's actually kind of a trend that I've been seeing on a lot of hair Instagram pages. Um, even with a clamp, 
the especially the curls that people do it seems with um, leave-in extensions is like the last inch or two of the hair will be straight I don't really know where that trend come from but I guess that's what it is like I said in the other video you kind of want your hair to frame your face so whatever hair pieces are closest to your face you want to curl your hair outwards away from your face because if you curl inwards it's going to close up your face not open up your face so this is pretty wavy so it looks like I don't need to do much the larger gaps whether you use a clamp or not or a wand like this, the larger the gaps that you have, the looser the curl or wave. Versus if you wrap everything super closely or even on top of each other, the tighter your wave will be. Now I don't want tight curls, so. There's that. I'm literally holding it for less than three seconds because I put it on the max heat setting. If you're going in a lower heat setting, maybe you can keep your hair a little bit longer, but the whole point is not to have the room that you are in smelling like burnt hair. Um, you are not in high school. Well, if you, even if you are in high school, don't make the same mistakes we did, okay? You do not need to fry your hair. If you do, no big deal, but try not to do that all the time because your hair will not thank you. Last piece, I think. Yeah, this is not really textured, so. Just a little bend. There you go. You got messy, a messy mane. <laughs> oh gosh, this is not a look for everybody. For some people, this is going to be um, strictly a summer look, if anything. Like a beachy wave or curl natural tutorial type of thing. But um, I'm a messy hair type of person. And this creates a lot of volume too. So basically this is an everyday sort of hairstyle for me. It's barely curled. Most of the work should be done by you braiding your hair. And then the curling iron was just for a touch up, like when you wake up and release all those braids. I did two braids, like I said, down the center, just two pigtail braids close to my scalp. What you can do is section off your hair into more than two sections, braid it really tight if that's what you want. Um, or you can use a single strand braid. I'm sure you guys see all those other tutorials where they place a piece of rope or some sort of fabric and braid that. That's nice, to, like that's a nice addition, but if you don't have that, it's not necessary. Anywho, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one, bye.